This is the direction that this party in control is leading us. It's the wrong direction. It's a one-size-fits-all. Government dictates to the people of Minnesota with their money in using it to do things to them that don't need to happen. Mr. President, I have yet to meet a person in Minnesota that is hungry. Yet today, I have yet to meet a person in Minnesota that says they don't have access to enough food to eat. Now, I should say that hunger is a relative term, Mr. President. You know, I had a cereal bar for breakfast. I guess I'm hungry now. Right now, as we sit here in the Senate chamber, an estimated 274,886 students are on free and reduced meals in Minnesota. Roughly one in six children are food insecure. That means they don't know where or when their next meal will be available if they get one at all. Moving beyond students in this category, Minnesota Department of Education estimates that around 18.5% of students likely qualify for free reduced meals, but are not getting free and reduced price meals for a variety of reasons. The most likely reason is that they haven't completed the form to prove they qualify. Besides the healthy meals and giving money back to families, feeding kids at school is the right thing to do. Being hungry makes learning almost impossible. There is no worksheet or assignment, test or project that will matter to a student who hasn't had anything to eat. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Follow today's top stories and breaking news by downloading the NBC News app.